This movie describes how to use the activity boxed counters, find factors with an array model. Here we have 12 red counters, and they're sitting inside this black rectangular frame. When I drag this blue point, it changes the size of my frame. Right now, my frame can accommodate nine counters per row. When I drag it to the left, my frame now accommodates eight counters in each row, so I have eight in the first row and four counters in the second. So again, I have 12 counters in all. No matter how I drag this point to change my rectangular frame, I always have 12 counters. Here's an interesting arrangement. I have the same number of counters in each row. I have a three by four array. Three and four are both factors of 12, and three times four equals 12. If a three by four array fits all of my counters, then so should a four by three array. That works too. I can look for all the different ways to fit my counters completely inside of the black frame. Two by six and six by two. And let's not also forget one by 12 and 12 by one. When I'm done exploring this with 12 counters, I can change the value to any other number I like. For example, let's try 36 counters. I'll type 36, and then I'll click outside of the box. I'll move this blue point, and I see that I can arrange my 36 counters like so, so that I have a 6x6 six six array with 36 counters, which by the way shows why 36 is called a perfect square our counters sit inside a square. Now, when I'm done exploring this page, I can move on to the larger numbers page. And because the counters are smaller here, we can explore arrays with more counters than we could easily fit on the prior page. So here we have 200 counters, and we can begin to look to see which rectangular frames will entirely enclose 200.